Here is our one of our Napa sponsors, Napa Valley Wine Train. Uh, a little bit later. We are giving away a complimentary pass for two tastings to our wine tasting bar this morning. They have some uh, fine wines and more here. Well, uh, does before you get on the train. Have any questions? All right, I'm here with Alyssa. How about anybody, My name is uh, so, what is what are you guys doing? We're pouring a wine tasting for everyone. So you just go around and uh, yeah, it's something we do during our lunch train. We go around with two different tastings, a white and a red, and Cezanne tells them about the wine tasting, and we just pour them and then collect the glasses at the end. And uh, just to let you know, there is going to be a film crew shooting on board the train today. So just to give everyone a heads up, if you don't want to be caught on camera, or if you're here with someone who's not your spouse, <laughs> make sure to uh, look away, and we'll make sure you don't make it on film. But if not, then uh, we might have you on film today. So thanks, and have a great trip. Cheers. Here we are, boarding the train. All right, what's your name? I am Ryan. I'm a PR and media coordinator for the wine train. So Ryan, uh, are you going to take me on a little tour here? I am. going to give you a little tour of the train. <laughs> and what's your name? Laura. And you're the conductor? Yes, I am. All right. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. And so we got three of us coming on board. So uh, our consist of the train, as you can see, starts uh, that way. We'll be headed northbound. And it's a total of 11 cars. So wow. we have. Um, so they, they call the, the, the full amount of cars linked together, the actual consist. We're going to be pulled by some old uh, um, uh, Canadian Alco engines today. Now this car right here is one of the most unique cars you'll, you'll find probably in the world. It's one of ten that were only ever made. It's called the 1956 Champagne Vista Dome car. And it was, a, it was a 180 degree view. You can see the windows as they line the edges gives you a 180 degree view the entire time as you're traveling as well as the fact that you're set up almost about six to eight feet higher off the ground so the views you get are unparalleled. So we're actually now in one of uh, the original 1915 uh, Pullman heavyweight cars. Now as you look at the glass, this is actually the original glass of the Northern Pacific Railroad, the red leaded glass. When I actually brought my uncle on here, it brought back memories of the times he used to serve as a firefighter. So, uh, and as you as you can take a look, I mean, this was this was the rail travel's answer towards increasing luxury as Americans started falling in love with automobiles. So we're going to give you an exclusive look at the, at the uh, inside of the guts of the uh, the Vista Dome car. It's a private car, so uh, just follow me. I'll sneak you on. All right. Oh my gosh! Look at the views, folks. This is awesome. So, as you can see, 180 degree views of all windows. We do moonlight dinners. We'll have the, the guest vintners come on board. We have speakers so they'll, they'll talk about the wine and the food experience. Now, this has its own kitchen downstairs, so all the food comes up the dumbwaiter. Like so, awesome. so, because of the fact that we're not going to be walking food up and down the stairs while the train is rocking and rolling, what we'll do is we'll call all the food from the dumbwaiter downstairs, which is one of our three onboard kitchens on the Napa Valley Wine Train. Now, we showed you the top part where the food arrives. This is where the food is made. This is one of our three onboard kitchens. This is the personal kitchen. If a person is dying in the Vistadome car, all their food is made specially for them in this kitchen only. Wow. What's your name? Marta. Marta. Uh, and yours, what's your name back there? Ismael. Ismael. All right, guys, thanks a lot. Now, this is one of our two gourmet dining cars that we have. So, uh, you know, what, what guests will do is they'll either start in the lounge car and move to come dine, or as these customers are going, they're going to start in the dining car and then move to a lounge car. We also have winery tours, so some persons that are wearing pins will be enjoying their meal, and when we stop at one of the wineries, we'll drop them off so they can enjoy wine tasting, and we'll pick them back up on the way home, if they didn't get in trouble while they're there. Now we're about to show you what our chef refers to as the muscle kitchen. It does about 80% of our meals. We have two different dining cars that do two different seatings. And this kitchen produces all the food for those cars. So as you can see, they're getting some of the uh, creme brulees ready for dessert. And then down here as we start moving through the kitchen, you can see we have an open galleyway. This is completely renovated uh, to be the specifications that we need uh, on board. Now as you can see, everything is made fresh on board daily. The only thing the 
chef does is prep the sauces because we don't have six hours on board the train to prep for all the sauces. But all the other food is made to order a la minute. So next you're in for an extremely unique experience, one of the, the newest additions that we've had to the wine train. It's our Silverado open air barbecue car. It's also our third kitchen on board. So guests come on board and uh, have their specified order made fresh as they enjoy 18 mile an hour wind blowing through the open air uh, of the Silver, or Silverado car. Oh my gosh. I'm ready, man. Come in. So this kitchen is just a little bit tinier. Uh, it doesn't have to crank out the same volume as the other as the other cars that we've uh, shown you so far. But uh, the quality that it produces is something that's making me hungry as I smell them getting things prepped now. <laughs> What's your name, sir? Sikyo. Sikyo. All right, thank you. So now we're almost to the place where we're going to start our journey on the wine train. But this is one of our other lounge cars that has also been made into our wine tasting car. So. Guests have the opportunity on board the train to have a customized wine tasting experience built for them out of 40 different wines that we'll carry on board on a daily basis. They can get 10 uh, for $10, they can get four different tastes of wine and have them help, uh, help have a custom tasting built by one of our onboard specialists.